your worst fear. I am your demise. Why are you possessing this boy? Because it feels so good to ruin such innocent flesh. But I prefer the challenge of an exorcist's soul. You only serve to diminish yourself. Don't lecture me, priest. What is your purpose? I'm here for you. Then you must know my name. I know your soul and every shameless sin. Tell me one of my sins. You cannot. Because my sins have been absolved by the one true master, the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not speak of him. Are you afraid of him? Are you afraid of Jesus Christ? Deus no estic. Deus ubique est. Whatever you do, you only do because God allows it. Did he allow that? This is just the beginning. You don't know who you're dealing with. Then tell me. Tell me your name. Unless you are too afraid. I'm not some stupid fuck. You convinced to get into a pig. So you won't tell me your name. My name is Blasphemy. My name is Nightmare. Huh. My Nightmare is France winning the World Cup. You prideful fool. You can't hide behind your jokes forever. Gabriel. I know your nightmares, too. says things that it could not know. So it's, it's real. What do you know about demons? Only, only the basics, that they are fallen angels. One serves the other in a hierarchy. See, the higher the demon, the more access it can have. So why is it possessing the boy? This is a very good question. I'm going to talk to the mother. I need to work out why this demon has chosen him. What I am about to say it may be difficult, uh, confronting. Your son is under the influence of a very powerful demon. Removing the boy from this place could be fatal. I say to you now, the only way your son comes back to you is through faith. Mrs. Vasquez, did anything happen to Henry? He was in the car accident that killed his father. He saw his father impaled. That memory, that's his demon. I give you my word. I will not walk away from you or your son. Trauma such as you describe can be a gateway for the devil. Suffering can make a soul desperate for connection. It can make the innocent more vulnerable. You 
must have loved your husband very much. You have no idea. He was your soul connection, see? He was everything. And you have two beautiful children. A mother's love is the closest thing we know to God's love. Tell me, Julia. Have you ever believed? Uh, when I was a little girl, I used to think that my guardian angel walked me to school. You should pray to that guardian angel. Thank you.